What's up guys, for today's video I'm going to put to the test this survival fire starting board rail. So we're going to try to start a fire with the friction. This is a different design, I've never seen a design like that. Right here is a handle. Okay. Let's see what else it includes. Oh nice, coconut husk. You know I love coconut husk. It's the easiest way to start a fire with. Nice, they give me a little brig. It's really, really dry, so I think we'll have no problem getting some ember going. What else inside there? I think it feels like a rock or something. There you go. Yep, it's a little rock like this. With a little hole and a stick, so it's gonna go like this. This side here also includes this rope. Let's see, let's put it through. So we put through the rope like this, and then we'll have to put it up to on this side as well. I'm just gonna make a knot on one side like this. There you go. And then we need to make it pretty tight and make a knot on this side. And this is what it's gonna look like right here. Probably should be a little bit more tighter. Would be nicer, but oh well, that's what we got. So this is what it's going to look like. Then we're going to go up another stick and flip it around like this and we need to turn it. So I guess we generally have to do it too tight because you see, could barely almost move it. And then I, what I like to do is grab a rock and actually hold it like this. You see how it's all locked in this is to my leg. Okay, let's try to use it. See how well it works. Oh wow, this is cool. Ah oh, no, maybe I did it too tight because this rope just burned out and broke. That's it, that's what we're gonna have, a little power cord rope instead. Hopefully it will work better and not gonna rip off. Okay, one more time. Also, I kinda don't like this little piece of wood. I mean, I like this notches right here. I think this notches would help easier to start a fire. So I'm gonna be using this stick instead. Okay, let's see. How well can we do this? Also, it's longer. You can see I can step on it a lot more. Okay, let's try this again. Also, we'll just need this. What I'm gonna do is put it under like this. Right under it where we're gonna drill. Okay, same thing. Just flip it around like this. I like power cord a little bit better because it's a lot more flexible. And then we're gonna stick it like this. And put rock on it. And very carefully. There you go. It's smoking a lot, but I kind of don't like it that the stick is a little bit too thin. As you can see, look at the difference. So I want that to use different stick. So same process, just flip it over. Like that, boom, put it in a hole and let's go. You see it spins a lot easier. Oh yeah, this is way better. Look at that smoke. Whoa. After a while of intensive drilling, this is what you want. You see this ember smoking, you wanna cover it up, not too tightly, very loosely, and, and just blow on it. That hot, hot ember in there should get on fire. Look at that hot ember now. And then maybe even shake it up like this. Ah. 
Ow, ow, that's hot. Look at this smoke and flame. This coconut husk lights up really, really easily. But as you can see, it would not get on fire. You see this coconut husk, a lot more fluffier. So you wanna fluff this up and I'm gonna put this coconut husk right on top of it. Let's see the difference. Shake it like that, sometimes it will get it going. There you go, and we start the fire. And this is how you start the fire with a board drill like this. This is pretty cool, I like this design a lot. Definitely a very unique one, never seen it like that. Now all you have to do is just add on twigs and you got yourself a good fire going. Well guys, I think this is a really cool design. Fire starter kit by Friction, perfect handle and right here a little bore so you can put the rope on and as you can see you get a lot of friction, a lot of speed going in and out. I really like it a lot. It does take breath away. To get the fire going, you have to go fast. You gotta be a little bit of in shape to do so because it's going to take away a lot of breath and you're gonna be a little bit sore on your shoulder. But once you get the rhythm going and figured out what you need to do, it's actually not too hard. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and I'll see you next time.